Today, I am playing Yancey. So let's see. It has an options menu. Very cool. I have to say it's interesting that the game's taller than it is wide. Um, yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so I already used up all my potions. <laughs> That's probably fine. Okay, so no diagonal movement, only um, cardinal. Um, it's kind of interesting, this game uses the ZXC layout, which I'm not a huge fan of, but fair enough, it is semi-popular. We got a wood. Okay, eight times oak. Okay, and we have to craft our sword. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, and we just select it. We don't actually put it in there. Nice. Oak sword. Okay, and X to attack. Um, we can't seem to sleep. Yeah, so I guess we'll be crafting more swords later then. Okay, so this is our main menu. We have our little dude. Uh, seems like this options menu scale mode is incorrect. For some reason it's set to one times right now. It's actually at four times. Yeah, that's pretty slick having the main menu just drop down like that. Or I guess it's not a main menu, but yeah. Oh, so yeah, generally the 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 art style looks cohesive and decently pleasant to look at. I like the dithering effect you have. Very nice. Okay, then let's get to exploring. Water, wildlife, okay, I have a dude. Interesting. How do I get oak? Okay, we went along the beach and there's a sign. Abandoned tin, tin mine. Okay. Oh, so yeah, I like that. I like having a text log. Makes it nice to have one place where all the text shows up. Uh, but let's not go into the tin mine for now. Well, maybe we should. Yeah, maybe we, we can get a better sword. Oh, well, it's called Dead Man's Pass. Okay, so this is like the bonfire, I guess. Huh. Okay, we have arenas. Oh. Oh, whoopsie. I accidentally walked into him. So, good to know they have contact damage. I was done locking him. Oh, wait, did he drop gold? Or was that blood? Don't know. Oh wow, that takes off half my HP. Okay, and we got a bone. Sweet. And we got two bone in our inventory. I wonder if our inventory sticks around or if we lose it on death. Can I reactivate this thing? 
gestern. Oh, holy cow, they, they shoot a lot. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's blood, not gold. Okay, so these guys are a lot more dangerous. They actually can shoot in any direction they please. Ah, great, they also have contact damage. Huh, I swear I was kissing them before and I wasn't getting hurt. Okay, this is our inventory. Okay, our inventory sticks around. Do you guys stick around? Yeah. Um, okay, I can fight these guys again if I want. Why not? Didn't actually figure out if there was anything here or if this is just a battle. Man. Man, we have the reach of like a caterpillar. Please, there we go. Just one more. Eh, there we go. Um, is that it? Um, some of these things are shining. Um, I guess there was no point to do that. Oh, I have 18 gold coins in the top right. Okay then. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be here, but yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's leave and come back later. Huh, no music? Was it silent before out here? Huh. Okay, I have to be going insane. I swear there was music here, but there's not. But at any rate, the game actually has the save game feature, so that's good to know. Okay, I got stone. Um, heal. I can't tell. Am I losing speed? No, okay. For a second I thought I was slowing down the less HP I had. Oh, right. I forgot, um, their shots go through blocks. Yeah, now I have some stone. Okay, so it looks like each slot is reserved for a different type of material. So it looks like there is one, two, three, four. Looks like there's going to be 32 materials total. That's quite a bit. I'm trying to remember, I think it was, what, eight wood to make one sword. Got to keep that in mind. Nice to meet you, Otto. Okay, then, well, that's fine and dandy. However, I want to explore the overworld a little bit more. Ah. <laughs> okay, that guy scared me a little bit. Okay, we got oak. Cool. Okay, so basically where there's the intersection is where and below is considered the hilt and so apparently it sounds like you can make high quality sword and then lower quality hilt i'm not sure what the difference would be compared to a fully one material sword though hmm. ok 
Okay, we got a hut. Well, I still need to get a lot more gold for this then. Only 25 more gold though. That won't take long. Also, it looks like this thing has ore in it. It was shining just a moment ago. Easy. Yeah, these enemies are a lot more manageable. Who would have thought? It makes more sense exploring the forest compared to going into a cave. Whoops. Okay, looks like there's very little invincibility time. I got ambushed right there. Okay, we have demon dogs. Oops, there we go. Okay, what do we have? Um, okay, we still don't have enough to make a half-decent sword. Or as I think we don't. Let's see. Okay, the sword is only four. However, yeah, that's not enough. We have to wait a little bit longer. As far as I can tell, there's no way to recharge your health potions once you touch one of these things. I don't know if that's the trade-off. You have to reach a new one of these every time you want a HP refill. Or if you don't want to have the player accidentally respawn all the enemies by touching it. I don't know. But, I can't, yeah. Just a little bit annoying like that one time where I accidentally used all my HP. It'd be nice if I could have restocked here. Anyway. Oh, boss time. Oh, whoops. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Oh, hello there. Oh, he can shoot diagonal too. Damn it. I forgot to heal. I will say I wish the respawn was a little bit quicker, but fair enough. Yeah, this is gonna go great. I'm 100% gonna die. Okay, I don't know why he started shooting every single time, but okay. Like, he shot like five times in quick succession. Not quite sure how that works. Okay, then, so this just has to be a game of patience. Have to attack him here and there. Okay, it looks like every time you attack or you swing, you need to... Ugh, damn it. I really hate having such low, <laughs> such low invincibility frames. And so I accidentally walk into him the second time and then die immediately. Feels great. Actually, what am I doing? I should be um, getting my stone sword. So let's kill one of these guys. Oops. Whatever. I just need to get that stone, you see. Okay, now I have enough stone for a stone sword. Oh, and bone. I'm not sure which one of those is better, though. Oh, is that not a thing? Fair enough. Um, actually, I wonder what this means. So if I were to put wood and then stone, 
No, that's also not a thing. When did I use all my HP? Oh, right, to get the stone. Okay, kill me, please. Thank you. Oh, so yeah, I like that little um, angel dude popping out uh, when you die. Okay, I finally got here with full HP and potion. Probably won't help me though. I have a feeling I'm gonna die again because the the contact damage on this boss is crazy. Kills me in like three hits. And several times I've gone like back to back um contact damage. So this won't be that fun. Okay. Okay, I think I get it. I was just whiffing my shots every single time, and all I had to do was actually hit my damn sword against him to stop him from shooting me point blank. But, um, yeah, there you have it. That wasn't too bad at all. Okay, then I wasn't expecting it to just be a normal enemy now. Yeah, but that one's not too bad. You just have to corner him and attack him over and over. As long as you don't whiff your shot, you'll be fine. Wonder if that arena is still there. Wow, there was literally no reason to do any of that dumb stuff. All I had to do is stand still and stab him when he gets close. Yeah, so basically I just made up game mechanics in my brain when I fought this guy the first couple times. And thought that he was like shooting me periodically, but it was really just me whiffing my shots. Which is a really weird mechanic, by the way. I don't know if I've heard of an enemy that attacks you when you attack and miss. But certainly interesting. I like it. Ah, uh, sweet, we got a orb. Okay, I made a bridge, cool. Ah, oh, sweet, a shortcut, let's go. Very nice. Oh, and we can buy that uh, pickaxe. Yes, give me your finest piece of junk. Hopefully that lasts forever, and not just for this life. All right, I should be able to mine this rock now. Yep. Okay, and it's only the shining rock that gives you that stuff. Good to know. Huh? Okay. For a second, I thought he was an NPC. Suspicious. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't think I want to take on all those guys at once. Yeah, not the most interesting enemy type. Once you know the trick, but I imagine it would cause a lot of chaos and when there's multiple types running around at once. Oh, so I will say, it feels very unfair that some of these enemies can shoot and move diagonally, while we can't. But, you know, just uh, Zelda things, I guess. Huh? Can I do anything?
So was this just for fun? Or am I gonna get an item later where I can burn down the forest or something? So be it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It has a little bit of um, Dark Souls where once you kill things, they stay dead, at least until you die. It actually kind of works well in a Zelda-like format because personally, I always found it very annoying backtracking in Zelda to then have to deal with all the enemies again. So at least, you know, clearing an area and then walking back through it isn't so bad. Oh yeah, right, I can make the bridge if I want to. Why not? Oh yeah, right, let's test that idea with the spikes on the sword handle. Okay, how about a, a thorn sword? Really, it also doesn't work. Okay. Maybe just on the pummel? No? Okay, then. Um, sure, let's do some tin mining. Then we can get a better sword. Oh, damn it. I, for, I was trying to get out of the way and then messed up. Man, that felt really unfair. I swear I wasn't touching that man. <laughs> that sounds wrong out of context, depending. Ugh, I have to say, it's really uncomfortable using ZXC. Does this controller work? No, it doesn't. This would be perfect for controller support. I don't know why you don't have it. Whoa! I did not expect them to explode so spectacularly. Whoa. Okay, then they actually explode in a whole semicircle. Um, I wasn't like that before, I don't think. Okay, yeah, I just didn't notice it. Okay. Yeah, I have to say, uh, design-wise, I like that you can see the arena composition before you commit to it. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to be like, oh hey, I want to see what's in the next room, but I don't want to be committed to possibly dying. Let's go back down. Also. Nope, still not close to a sword. Well, maybe. I have enough for the blade of the sword, at least. Oh, dude, I swear I wasn't going to die there. I did. Oh, so oh, yeah, right. There's probably ore in here. Yet again, <laughs> this being kind of annoying, if I could just heal, it'd be fine. But now I have to purposely die if I want to get a refill to go up north, for example. Well, screw that. I'm gonna make a sword, I think. Yeah, so this game is quite hard. Yeah, it's also fairly fair. 
Like, as much as it doesn't feel like it at times, it's 100% fair, and it's within the rules of the game. So, yeah. No? I don't get it. I feel like I'm not understanding the sword crafting or something, because I thought... Well, I don't know, maybe this, these materials you can't, for whatever reason, use them with the tin. Yeah, whatever. We're just going to go with the easy sword, because it's all I know. Tin sword. Yeah. And then I can equip both of them. I think. How do I switch? Okay, I press shift to swip, uh, swatch, uh, switch. Oh, okay, Tin Sword has range. Very nice. Okay, so I guess that's for when you're at full health, probably. That's cool. Sure, let's try to get a little bit more Tin. Wow, that does so much damage in comparison. Holy cow. And it stun locks them at that. Though it doesn't go through walls, so it's not perfect. Ah, uh, whoops. Yeah, now I lost it. Except now I have it again. Oh, man, I... What is even happening? I I do not know why... Okay, right, I was attacking and then couldn't move. Okay. Yeah, you can't move while attacking. Oh, why is he dying? Why won't he die? Does it have to be physical for this enemy type? Ugh. Okay then. Okay, it's proximity based, maybe. I don't know. Okay, a little bit more tin for the body. Never hurt nobody. Yeah, map doesn't seem to do anything at the moment, but so far at least it's not too bad trying to remember uh, where's what and all that. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be looking for the shine, but for whatever reason, I feel paranoid that I'm missing it. So I'm checking everything, see if I can mine it or not. Oh, we exited? Cool. Out the other end. We got a tome. Okay, so jewel at end of shaft. Cool. So I guess that would just be a jewel at the top of the sword, and then the rest is wood. Do we even have a jewel? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, that's a cool reward for going through the dungeon. We get a little crafting tip. Oh no, the enemies respawn. That's not cool. What happened to this being like Dark Souls? Oh, and that, and the bullets on that guy clipped through the blocks for some reason. Ah, uh, just kill me. I'm done. <laughs> 
I think I got all of the all of the goodies from this dungeon. I don't think there's any more except maybe north. Yeah, I don't think I did that. Yeah, it's annoying how inconsistent their projectiles being blocked by the terrain is. Oh. Cool, we're checking this out. Ah, oh, sweet. I have no clue what this means. <laughs> okay, so... Four souls plus wrenches plus gem in the middle of the hilt. Cool. I'll take a picture of this. I will say that's pretty devilish. I'm pretty sure you can only get this if you explode um, one of those explodey guys in the right spot. Ah, whoops. Anyway, I got what I needed. I think I have everything from this dungeon. So, yeah. Um, can I craft anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I guess I maybe craft a bone sword. I don't know if I tried that already. Okay, ha there is a bone sword. Sure, why not? Okay then, what does this, ooh, boomerang, that's fun. I'm not, and I think it's faster? No, it's about the same, but it's just a boomerang instead. Okay. Whoops. Ah, sweet! This thing goes through, um, obstacles. Very nice. Oh, right. Wait, what? He's gone? Huh. Don't know if that was just a one-time thing. Yeah, these guys lob things. Not exactly what I expected. Um, okay, I wasn't expecting that to turn me to stone, considering the last time I saw a red orb, it was a switch. Seems a bit weird. Yeah, that's bizarre. Well, now we know these things are eyes in this dungeon. Oh, whoops, ah, damn it, I forgot again how bad contact damage is. Oh, whoops. Whoa, okay, he has a different ability. Oh, what? Why was he aiming lower? I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm trying to one, uh, trying to think. This uh, boomerang looks better, basically in every way compared to the tin sword. Uh, I wonder if there's like a slight damage difference or something. Ah, uh, stone tablet and ore. I can't seem to read it. 
Okay then. Probably not gonna be able to make it. Okay, um, yeah, this is looking a bit dangerous. I might be able to make it. Ah. Man, this contact damage is so scary. Ooh, that was close. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, wait, I can't... Oh, wait, was I doing only one damage per stab? I think that's lower than the steel sword. Okay, yeah, this is actually better. Oh, yeah, this is slightly better when it comes to dealing with these enemies. Um, and one-on-ones. Yep. Huh, still don't know what's up with this. I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid the eye. Ugh, I... Okay, so he has an eyeball thing. So if there's no eyeball thing, that means he's facing north, I guess. Oh boy. Yeah, and I moves clockwise. There you go. Man, I was like one pixel off. Oh, how did it happen again? Are you... Okay. Yeah, the... I think the reason for that happening was that I'm like viewing this at a scale, a skewed angle. So it's all messed up for me right now. Alright. Well, that's the first switch. Oh, this is different. Hi there, wizard. Huh, I wonder if that means this part of the dungeon is clear forever. Well, that feels nice uh, to clear. However, I need to die so I can get more HP. Thank you. I don't know, is there a better way to do that? Is there like an option to um, to respawn at the closest um, or the last visited thing? I don't think there is. Yeah, if possible, that might be a better way to have that. Okay, on to the right. Oh, right. These melee guys are actually pretty easy when you have range. Who'd have thunk? Okay, that was easy. 
I have to say, this game's starting to feel pretty satisfying um, once you get the hang of it. Pretty harsh, but also very nice to kick their tail. Okay, that's kind of a funny joke. <laughs> the petrifying eyeballs were for <laughs> renewable rocks. Okay, then. Uh-oh, rock boss. I don't know when the guy um, shoots his uh, balls for. I actually, I actually have no clue when why he's shooting his um, fireballs. Like, is it when I stand still? Is it when I'm perpendicular to him? I don't know. At the very least, the boss is very close by. Whoops. Surprisingly enough, getting hit- oh come on. Getting hit by the fist hurts a lot. Almost a one-hit KO. Ah, whoops. Okay, yeah, you have to watch out when he has glowing eyeballs. That's when you have to worry about- ah, like that. Okay, it's just like the eyes. Okay, that's actually really cool. It's just like the- the stone eyes. When, when it's red and facing towards you, that's when he shoots. Shoots. Okay, I really like that. It's cool. Ah, uh, I, man, having so little invincibility frames is so messed up. <laughs> I almost had him, and I basically played the thing perfectly, and then I accidentally walked in the line of fire and died in a second without my HP. To help me. Okay, well now I'm very close to being this boss. Oh, dude, seriously, there's double contact damage with the rock? That's mm, fine. There we go. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh wait, are those actually coins and we're just... Okay, those might actually be coins because I got a whole bunch of coins when he died. And they do still look like coins and not blood. So I guess they are coins. And you're just supposed to imagine that you automatically pick them up, which... It's fair, I think it's kind of annoying having to pick up a bunch of loose change, as it were. Ooh, an apple. Ooh, nice, max HP. Well, it's actually kind of cool. I guess we get all this um, stuff to mine. Anyway, let's get out of here and let's buy something from the shop at the village chief thing. I don't know. The sharp tongue sword? Okay. Ooh, we also have this. The Iron Sword. I'm assuming Iron Sword is just a better Tin Sword. A 
Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> That's kind of funny, but hey, now we have a longer reach sword. That can be helpful. Maybe. Huh. Let's be an optical illusion. It feels like going south, it has longer reach. I think I'd rather have rock piercing bullets. Or a boomerang, rather. Or do I want that gem? Eh, I'd rather get the temporary health up. Right, so I think all there is now to do is go across the bridge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was only that one dungeon to the right. Oh, wait, I'm losing coins on death. Okay, I didn't notice that. Well, it's a pretty small amount, but still. Good to know I'm actually losing stuff when I die. So that's even more annoying that I can't just go back to the last checkpoint. All right then, well, let's go across. Oh, cool, we got a pearl. Probably use that for um, magic. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. All right, let's make a wand. Okay, I, don't know, I have a feeling I'm misunderstanding this crafting sim uh, crafting system something fierce. Because I'm having real trouble doing any sort of interesting hybrid stuff. Um, okay, we have ghost spider. Or no, are those scythes? I like to think of it as a ghost spider. Oh no, it says reaper in the corner. Ah oh, man, stupid rock. Stupid rock! No, it was my fault. I forgot that the bullet doesn't pierce the rock. Oh cool, we got a soul. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, that recipe we got earlier had to, had to use for those souls, but also had to use that super expensive gem at the shop, which I probably won't be getting. Um, okay. Oh. Okay then. Ooh, we got another soul. How many souls does that make? Three. So me. So I just need one more soul for that special sword. And a lot of gold, which I'm not looking forward to having to farm. Okay then, so I guess this area is just for the ghost material. Okay, and then there's this dungeon. I'm trying to remember, I saw that teaser for the for the dungeon over here, across this way. I'm not sure if I missed something, but I don't think I can actually reach there.
Oh, right, there was this area I didn't check out. So this is interesting, this enemy type can only dash sideways, not up and down. So yeah, they leave a green splotch. Hello there, hobos. Okay then. Uh, well, I'll take a save point. Thank you. And sure, let's go ahead and check out what this so-called beast is like. I see. <laughs> That's what that beast is like. Um, yeah, I'm good. I'm not gonna bother fighting him. Oh wait, there is a war. That's a lot of slimes. Hello there. Friends. Um Okay then, that's just slime room, I guess we're farming. This area is very easy. I wonder if I was supposed to come here earlier. Oh, hello there, bro. Oh, buddy. What did I do to you? Um, okay, and that uh, does a huge amount of damage. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't get it. Is this supposed to be a survival fight? Or am I just supposed to be extremely good and have full HP the whole time so I can shoot him? Or maybe I'm supposed to get a magic staff, though I've failed to craft those lately. I'm starting to feel like I need a wand for this. Okay, this is it. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I had to die eventually. Um, okay then. Assuming that's, that's just a worse version than what I have then. Yeah. Looks like these are all part of an upgrade tree. I have to say I wasn't expecting a 
attacking one of these guys. I wonder if he'll have a special comment if I use a stone sword. <laughs> wow, so rude. I made this, I made this with my own hands. Okay, you say that, but what now? Oh, I it says in the in the log I got the slab sword. Cool. Nice. I don't know what it does exactly. Probably just does a, does a lot of damage, I would guess. Yeah, the concept is pretty fun. The world of what there is right now is entertaining to explore. I will say I feel like I'm having some major confusion about the the magic stave situation because it just said to put a, a gemstone on the tip i mean unless a pearl doesn't count as a gemstone which it might not Okay, well, I think I'm gonna leave it there for now. I played for a couple of hours. I would say I enjoyed myself. The game is quite hard, and I'm assuming I didn't even get close to some of the really hard stuff, but it's very satisfying to beat up the enemies. It's also hard in a good way, as in difficult but fair. So it's not like the controls are awful. The visuals are nice for pixel art. The menu looks nice. I do wish that I could control the game with a controller. <laughs> the PC keyboard ZXC just isn't doing it for me. I would say the progression seems about right for an open world, you know, Zelda-like setup. Where if you're not dumb about it, you can have a pretty nice easing into the difficulty. Though I will say the mechanics of that one tree enemy is kind of strange. I don't know if that's intuitive for a player just starting. You know, specifically the tall tree, which fires a shot if you miss your attack. But otherwise, it works. Well, as the introduction, once you start getting into the dungeons, then it's more of a sink or swim where you just have to figure out the enemies if you want to survive. One thing that might be a bit weird is the crafting system. I mean, unless I'm missing something, I'm fairly certain I'm supposed to be able to craft a magic wand, but I can't. So that's a bit annoying. Unless it's expecting me to purchase the, the 300 gold gem to be able to fight that one um, water snake boss. In which case... That'd be very annoying having to farm another 150 gold for it. So yeah, it might just be my fault that I can't figure out how to make a wand, or it's something I would consider too ridiculous to bother doing at this time. 
So yeah, I think the game looks pretty fun already. It already looks pretty good for the aesthetic you're going for. The map actually working would be nice. The, the concept of having to craft swords and, and wands is quite neat. I like it. It adds a fun little mechanic to experiment with throughout the game. Yeah, so this looks very good already. You just have to um, improve upon it and then continue making content. So, yeah, that's that.